What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the all new Mobula 6 from Happy Model. Now, this is an insane and groundbreaking 1S swoop due to a couple reasons, which is the main board here. Now, if we take a closer look inside, it might be a little bit difficult here, but we actually see we have nothing except one board and a camera. And what that means is we have less weight. However, what that also means is that we have the ESC, the flight controller, the OSD, the PDB, the video transmitter, and the receiver built into one board, which is freaking insane. We've never had something like this before, and it is crazy how they're able to fit all this through. And this is by far one of the most technically advanced 1S brushless whoops. Now, if we take a closer look at the price, the price is $86, which is not bad for the things they're giving you. Obviously, you get the complete drone with everything built in. We get a small USB charger and four batteries, an extra set of propellers, a propeller remover, and also some extra screws and a screwdriver here. So so that's really great to see you're getting quite a lot for 86 bucks now another great thing that a lot of people might overlook is the fact that they did not go through a proprietary route kind of like the emacs tiny hawk or baby hawk well one of those i forgot which one anyways that has these special batteries and a special type of connector and uh, this just makes everything so much more universal so much more easier to find it parts and just all around a lot better now, this is meant for indoors. However, I did fly this indoors in a school, but I am not allowed to show you the footage. So what I did instead is I took it out flying into the field and um, it was actually pretty windy that day and I was still able to fly this, which is insane for a 1S. I was still able to do some tricks. However, the wind was pushing me around, but not to the point where I had to fight it to keep it in the air. I more just had to fight the wind to get to the position I needed to get to, which is something insane. I did not expect this. Now, the one I have here is the 2500 KV. This, so this thing comes in two flavors. We have the 19,000 KV and also the 25,000 KV. And it is a beast. I've never seen something of this nature. And it is by far really stable indoors, no vibrations, and you could really enjoy the living crap out of it. And it's super, super light, which obviously also helps with the longer flight time. Now, if we take a closer look at the camera here, they are running a Runcam Nano 3 that's been heavily modified. It's one of the tiniest things you probably ever see. It's pretty crazy here. They have shed the weight down so dramatically and um, it's just an absolute beast when it comes to it. You know, the attention to detail is really great. The plastic seems to be better quality of the previous generations, and it took quite a lot of beating, I would say, indoors and outdoors, and it's still perfectly fine. I, I still haven't had to change the propellers here. However, I really want to come back and touch on this whoop or this crazy bee type board that they've done here. Now, the only thing I wish they would have done differently, which could have been an absolute insane um, thing to do which is make it just at least 10 amp capable the ESC is built in and also have it be 3s capable you would have an insane beast now in terms of the inbuilt video transmitter as well which I forgot to cover on I had great range I mean good range inside that that bando which is something really great I've had dedicated small video transmitters that couldn't even get me more than 20 meters inside that place so for me to be able to fly the way I did in the place where I did is really great now to what extent great i don't know but it usually translates to other areas especially open areas so in terms of the video transmitters I, it's it just passed the test so that in itself is a really great thing also the video the, the the receiver is also pretty great i didn't have any fail saves which is something really really nice and something you always want and um i did kind of fly pretty far distances within that bando above it and there's a lot of interference and um i was actually flying it through the multi-protocol module on my x9 light which i'll have linked down below so 
overall, if you are looking for, I think this is by far for me, this is the best 1S brushless whoop I've ever flown. And I think uh, it's going to be some time till we get something of this nature again. But it is by far really great and I do highly recommend. Not only that, I would also recommend this charger. This is a charger I use to charge everything. Uh, these are the 1S chargers. You can charge up to six at one time. Just plug it in and it just starts charging right away. You set every, you preset everything and it remembers and you just plug them all in, bam. 10 minutes and everything is charged basically. So I really like this. I'll have one link down below. It takes both DC and AC. So if you're in the field, stick up, you know, 1500 4S and it'll charge everything for you. So you get a lot of flight time. And I use this for my 2S quads and uh, my 1S quads like this. And it is a very useful uh, charger here. I still use it to this day and I still highly recommend it. And this is the only charger I use for these. But then again, they also provide you with this little baby charger, which will work also. So my conclusion of this quadcopter, it is by far one of the best 1S brushless whoops that you can possibly purchase currently on the market. I could be wrong, but this is by far one of the best ones I've flown in terms of camera, in terms of weight, in terms of efficiency or just flight time. And in terms of the way it handles outside, it was a windy day and it flew that great, which is really awesome yes it had vibrations and what do you expect from a plastic frame when there's heavy wind of course there's going to be some vibrations but indoors you won't see any of that and it won't have any of that because this is meant for indoor use and everything's linked down below guys and if i'm able to get any coupons i'll have them linked down below make sure you subscribe hit that like button and come join my patreon while i gave all this stuff out free and i'll see you in the next one peace out guys